The following quantities represent the resistance R of a number of resistors. Write them in engineering notation. I'll start with the first number. R is equal to 0 0.00002100 ohms. I can write this number as 0 0.00002100 times 10 to the power of 0 ohms. Now this number is not yet in engineering notation because the number in front of 10 to the power of 0 is less than 1. I multiply this number by a thousand. That means that I move the decimal point three digits to the right. I will get 0 0.02100 times. Now to compensate for that I divide 10 to the power of 0 by a thousand. I will get 10 to the minus 3 ohms. The result is not yet in the engineering notation because the number in front of 10 to the minus 3 is still less than 1. So I multiply this number by a thousand and I divide this number by 1000. Let's see what we get. We will get multiplying by a thousand means moving the decimal point 1 to 3 digits. So that means 21.00 times and dividing 10 by minus 10 to the power of minus 3 by a thousand means 10 to the minus 6 ohms. Now this is in engineering notation. First of all minus 6 is a multiple of 3 and second the 21 is between 1 and 999. This means that I am done with my calculation. It is convenient to write this number as 21.00 micro ohms. As you can see, it is very easy to communicate this number with somebody else. You can simply say 21 micro ohms. But the original number is very hard to communicate. And this is the purpose of engineering notation, to bring all numbers between 1 and 991, 99, so that we can easily communicate those numbers. Let's now start with the second number. R is equal to 0 0.000200 ohms. I can write this number as 0 0.0002100 times 10 to the power of 0 ohms. Now the number in front of 10 to the power of 0 is less than 1, so I multiply that number by a thousand and I divide 10 to the power of 0 by a thousand. I will get 0 0.2100 times 10 to the power of minus 3 ohms. The number in front of 10 to the minus 3 is still less than 1, so I multiply it by a thousand, I will get 210.0 times 10 to the power of minus 6, if I divide 10 to the minus 3 by a thousand, to compensate for multiplying this number by a thousand. Now, this is in engineering notation, because minus 6 is a multiple of 3 and also 210 is between 1 and 999. It is convenient to write this as 210.0 micro ohms. Let's start with the third value for the resistance. R is equal to 0. Double zero, two one, double zero ohms. Once again, I can write this number as zero point double zero two one double zero times ten.
10 to the power of 0 ohms. The number in front of 10 to the power of 0 is less than 1, so I multiply this number by a thousand, I will get 2.100 times, and I divide 10 to the power of 0 by a thousand. I'll get 10 to the minus 3 ohms. Now we note that 2.1 is between 1 and 999, and minus 3 is a multiple of 3. Therefore, this value is now in engineering notation. It is convenient to write it as 2.100 milli ohms, which is very easy to communicate. Our next number is R equal to 0 0.02100 ohms. Um, we can rewrite this number as 0 0.02100 times 10 to the power of 0 ohms. Now the number in front of 10 to the power of 0 is less than 1, therefore we multiply it by a thousand. We will get 21.00 times 10 to the power of minus 3 ohms, if we divide 10 to the 0 correspondingly by a thousand. Note that 21 is already between 999 and 1, and minus 3 is a multiple of 3. Therefore, this number is already in engineering notation, and we can write it as 21.00 milli ohms. The next number is 0 0.2100 ohms. I can rewrite this as 0 0.2100 times 10 to the power of 0 ohms. Now, the number in front of 10 to the 0 is less than 1. I multiply it by 1000. I will get 210.0 times, and I divide 10 to the power of 0 by 3, by 1000, I'll get 10 to the minus 3 ohms. This number is already in engineering notation, so I'm going to write it as 210.0 milli ohms, a number which is very easy to communicate. Our next question would be R is equal to 2.100 ohms. We can re look at this as 2.100 times 10 to the power of 0 ohms. And this number is already in engineering notation because uh, 0 is a multiple of 3 and 2.1 is between 1 and 999. Therefore, it is convenient to write this as 2.100 ohms and that is the final answer.